All right, let's get to the point. Keep in mind I'm using the template for Visual Novel Maker, okay? Just letting you know, the end result is going to look like this. And as you can see, I have all my categories down here, but you can put it anywhere and you can even change the size of your text box. First step, go to Resource Manager, which is right next to the music icon. Go to Pictures. Go to UI. You're going to see Message Box Ground. Mine looks different because I already replaced it. Go ahead and export that anywhere, wherever is the most convenient for you. Then go ahead and import it to whatever program you use, GIMP, Photoshop, whatever. This is basically your reference. So design it however you wish. You can exceed the size if you'd like. You can also just put this anywhere. Just to make it easy on yourself, just make sure you have all these categories. So you'll have a total of six categories. Once you're done with that, you're going to go back to your Visual Novel Maker. Go to Resource Manager. Same file that we went to before. And then you're just going to import that. And you are free to overwrite this. So once you're done importing this, you're going to go ahead and go to your third tab here. You're going to go to Common Events. You're going to see this folder, Beginner's Guide and Game UI. Go ahead and look for a message box. You're going to go to the Show Message box. And since we already replaced the previous or default text box with ours, it's automatically going to use that one. So from here, you're going to go to Hotspots. This is why we had six categories. Go ahead and just put the little like boxes to wherever it's supposed to be. So this is number two for me. If I do a right click in properties, you'll see that this opens up the save menu. And if you do the same thing, you'll basically know which box is uh, which. So this is number three, which is load. I go to properties. There it is. It's confirmed that it's load. So go ahead and just mix and match. You can also change the size of it if you need it. Just make sure you have space between these two icons, otherwise they're going to overlap one another and that's going to be a hassle for people who play your stuff. So once that's confirmed, uh, depending on the size of your text box, you can scroll all the way down. You're going to see the create message area and set. If you guys have no idea where your text box is in this sample, go ahead and copy and paste these two into your example thing. So go ahead and do the call common event. And if you guys have no idea where that is, just you can type it right here by pressing X and then it'll show a search box. And then just do this. And there you go. And yeah, that's basically it. Hope that helps you and good luck with your shit.